Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to you today. How are you? Okay. Hi, Sarah. I'm good, thank you. (laughs) Maybe you could kick off with a brief introduction to this film, Love Accidentally. What can people expect if they watch it? Uh, Love Accidentally is a feel-good romantic comedy, and I feel like once it's over, it really, really warms your heart, and you just feel uplifted, and you feel really good. And what can you tell us about your character? My character plays the boss of two characters that are competing for a promotion. And obviously I can sense that there's a little bit of, you know, romantic uh, tension between the two, but at work they are, they don't really like each other. And then they accidentally send each other a text without knowing it's each other and kind of fall in love over a text without knowing it's the person they're working next to. And what I love about this film is that it feels like it has kind of, you know, a bit of a retro rom-com feel. Like, you know, if you want to think about, you know, the ones we used to, all, we grew up watching, um, uh, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Get Days, for example. Um, but it brings it into the modern era because, um, you know, having to, just having that freedom to message someone and not know who they are when social right. media is rife. Um, you know, it's, it's such a key thing for people nowadays. So what was the appeal for you when you read the script? I, I think it was that. First of all, I love romantic comedies. And then to, to make it uh, contemporary where, you know, especially all different audiences now can relate to it, I think was something that was very appealing to me. We shot this also during a time, too, when the world had changed. And um, it was great that we were able to film and also do something that could be real, feel good and positive and uplifting. What a... Uh fun cast it looks like you had to work with um yep. but particularly Brendan and Aaron you know so so tell us about working with them and, and you know that the dynamic especially you know the opening scene um that we see already you know setting up uh, between the two of them when you bring them into the office so you know uh, what was it like working alongside them I loved working with them we all got along got on quite well Brenda was actually I hope I'm not speaking out but she was pregnant during it and I was shocked when I found out that she was pregnant because she did not look pregnant at all. (laughs) (laughs) She looked amazing. But um, it was just, we had fun together. It was was actually really fun to be on set. And it's, you know, when you do comedies, especially and something like this, it's, it's fun. It's a fun vibe on set. And, you know, we we had a really good time. It was Mm -hmm. nice. I kind of, it must've been a lot of fun to play your character as well, because you're not quite Cupid, but you've definitely got kind of a, maybe you're one step ahead of where these two people are and you're kind of seeing their dynamic and, and, and putting them, you know, like chess pieces on a board, you know, into position because you can see that they, you know, they have a chemistry. So what, how did you see your character? But she's also very powerful because she's the big boss. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I wanted her to be strong and powerful, but I also wanted her to have a real um, compassionate and human side to her too. And, you know, I, I obviously... I, my character saw the that there was definitely something there between them, mm-hmm. and um, I, it's a uh, it was it was definitely a fun role for me to play, mm-hmm. and different too. And, and it feels like as well, you know, seeing women in playing those roles of the boss of the company. I mean, we've seen it more recently, but in the past, we never used to have women play that role. And it's kind of a reflection of where we are now. Hopefully, uh, that you know, it's not always male dominated at the top. Absolutely. No, it was so great and so fun to be able to play the part that I was able to play and very lucky to, to be able to do that. Did you have a favorite um, scene that you had to film? I guess you didn't actually get to drink the wine. Is that, <laughs> it looks like you might no, be able to enjoy the vineyard. But... They give us grape juice for that or cranberry. I can't even remember <laughs> what it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually honestly all the scenes we we all had fun just laughing off camera and just um it, it, it's it was it's really a feel-good movie and that reflected on set too and the environment that we created so it was just fun to be together and have that camaraderie with each other and I loved this quote you know that they kept coming back to about you know life is what happens when you're busy making other plans so I felt like you know right. Yes, on the one side, it's like just an entertaining film and, you know, wondering what's going to happen next. But there's also a really kind of great message in there that maybe to kind of let go of being obsessed with 
social media or work and, and live in the moment a bit. I, I agree. And, uh, you know, I, I really do believe that you do find love when you least expect it. I know it's cliche, but it's it happens with me, with my husband. And I think that that's something else that would I love the message to these two people that came together and they got to know each other without the preconceived idea of who they are at work. They got to know them outside of work without knowing that it was them. And, and I love that. I love that message too. And, and the thing about, um, you know, the anonymity and the ease of being able to talk to a stranger and how it's almost impossible to do that nowadays, because you're always going to look someone up on, on Facebook or Instagram right. and see who they are seeing those pictures. So, you know, and do you think that that's something that it's quite hard to get away from? I don't know your experience with social media. Um, you know, how do we get outside of that these days? I agree with you. I think it's really, really difficult to get out, you know, um, to get away from that. And sometimes on what's out there may or may not be true. And so I think that that's also another message that I really liked about this is not having any judgment of who that person is on the other end. I was thinking, you know, saying at the beginning that it reminded me of kind of some old school rom-coms. Did you have any favorites when you were growing up? Well, I mean, I obviously love love actually because I was in that. <laughs> um, but I also love, you know, I love all of Richard Curtis's movies for weddings and funeral. I love um, everything that he's done and Pretty Woman. I love, um, you know, you've got male, uh, all of the romantic comedies. I, I love romantic comedies so much. And looking back on your career, you know, I mean, you've just done so, such an amazing array of films in every genre, perhaps, you know, what have been some of the highlights for you? My highlights for my career, I have to say, are really the ones that changed my career and um, is like Starship Troopers for sure. That was a movie that I will always have such fond memories because I love the actors. We were all the same level of our career we got to bond together and uh it, you know it was fun to see how that film changed our career for all of us so that's i think one of the most fond memories i have and of course doing james bond <laughs> so. <laughs> i don't know why but i've seen starship troopers like more times than i'd care to mention we were obsessed <laughs> with it it's such an amazing film and then you know the fact that you have, you know, seen perhaps the movie industry change and maybe particularly, um, you know, the, 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 the dynamics for women and the roles that they can do, you know, have you seen it change for the better in the time you've been working in it? Absolutely. I definitely think it's great that it's changing and where more women are, are being able to have stronger roles and also at my age to be able to uh, still have a career. I'm very grateful that I'm able to work and do all different genres and, you know, that's something that I've definitely seen that's um, a wonderful thing and very positive. Can you tell us what you might be working on next? Uh, I have a few projects coming out uh, later this year, and then I'm getting ready to film a couple other things. And do you have any kind of ambitions of things that you haven't quite done yet, whether it's a different genre, working with a particular oh, I, director? Yes, I really, really would love to work with Quentin Tarantino. Okay, so if he's listening. And my husband would love to see me in a Marvel movie. <laughs> oh, okay. A particular character or? Any character. He goes, you need to be in a Marvel movie. I'm like, okay, sure. I'll just call and say, hey, I want to be in this. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, well, hopefully we'll see you in one of those one day. Hopefully. Um, <laughs> you would love that too. I would too. <laughs> I, would, I would love that. Um, well, it's been amazing to chat to you. Thank you so much. Thank and you. can't wait for you everyone too. else to see Love Accidentally. Thanks a lot. Thank Cheers. You so Thank nice you. Bye. Bye. Bye.